Now, passengers on board one cruise ship are expected to return to South Florida today after their trip was involuntarily extended. It's because the cruise company reportedly didn't pay its fuel bills, prompting a Miami court to issue an arrest warrant. Let's get right out to local tennis Trent Kelly. He's live at Port Everglades to explain this one. Trent. Yes, yeah, so Andrew, all of this involves the Crystal Symphony cruise ship that is operated by Crystal Cruises, an ultra luxury cruise line. We know that ship was supposed to return here to South Florida yesterday. Instead, though, it is now docked in the Bahamas this morning after a judge issued an arrest warrant over unpaid fuel bills, bills which, according to court documents, total more than four and a half million dollars. A cruise line in chaos after unpaid fuel bills caused a Miami judge to issue an arrest warrant for the Crystal Symphony cruise ship owned by the ultra luxury cruise line Crystal Cruises. The warrant giving authorities the ability to seize the ship if it enters U.S. waters. As a result, the ship is currently docked in Bimini instead of returning to South Florida with passengers telling multiple media outlets they'll now be shuttled via ferry back to Port Everglades later today. It comes just days after Crystal Cruises suspended all sailings after its parent company, Genting Hong Kong, declared bankruptcy. The one and only obtaining a copy of that fuel complaint filed by a company called Peninsula Petroleum. In it, they say Crystal and one of its sister lines, Star Cruises, owe them some $4.6 million in unpaid fuel bills dating back to last year, with a little more than $1 million coming from the Crystal Symphony alone. According to those documents, quote, Peninsula has not been paid for the maritime necessities provided to the vessel and therefore proceeds to arrest it, adding both Crystal and Star Cruises have breached their contracts. So if that ship is seized, we're told that fuel company does want it to be sold, allowing them to recoup some of their money. We did reach out to Crystal Cruises this morning for comment, but so far we have yet to hear back. Again, according to those reports, we know those passengers still on board the Crystal Symphony are set to return here via ferry sometime later this afternoon. We'll keep you posted on that and any other developments we learn about. We'll post them on my social media sites at Trent Kelly WPLG. For now, that's the latest live from Port Everglades. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.